you for choosing Evergreen Health for your spine surgery. Our skilled team of surgeons, nurses, therapists, and other caregivers are dedicated to helping you be your healthiest best so you can be more active with less pain. You may have been invited to participate using a digital care plan. If so, we encourage you to use it to track your progress. In today's presentation, you'll get a preview of the steps in your surgical journey from home preparation, caregiver needs, preparing for surgery, surgery risks, your surgery and recovery, and finally, your discharge. To ensure your safety, it's essential to prepare your home before surgery. You'll need a caregiver day and night for at least 24 to 48 hours after your discharge from the hospital. We encourage you to share this video with your caregivers. Many patients return home one, two days after their surgery. Some patients are discharged the same day. Please talk with your surgeon about where you'll stay in the days following your discharge. Not all skilled nursing facilities will be covered by insurance, so it's important to make your plan ahead of time. To help you return home with safety and ease, we suggest you check your home now for the following. Remove any area rugs as these are tripping hazards. You may consider optional equipment to use after returning home, such as a sock aid, a long-handled reacher, long-handled shoehorn, and dressing stick. Your occupational therapist will teach you how to use these tools during your stay in the hospital. They can be purchased, rented, or borrowed. Check with your insurance before surgery for coverage information. To prepare your bathroom, install grab bars in your shower or tub for support. Install a handheld shower head, and you may want to use a long-handled brush to wash your back and feet. Use a rubber-backed bathroom mat to help keep the floor dry and prevent you from slipping. Install nightlights in areas such as bathrooms and hallways. Make sure your furniture is positioned so that you can easily pass by with a walker. If your bedroom is on the second floor of your home, you may want to prepare a bed on the first floor until you can easily navigate stairs. It's important before your surgery to also clean and do laundry. Prepare meals and freeze for easy access. Do yard work and arrange for help if needed. Stock groceries. Ask someone to pick up your mail and arrange to have someone help you care for your pets. Most patients will return home in one to two days after surgery. Some return home the same day. It will be important for you to have a caregiver with you day and night for the first 24 to 48 hours after you return home. Please tell your surgeon who you've selected as your caregiver. Your caregiver also has important responsibilities for your safety and recovery. Your caregiver will provide on-time transportation to and from the hospital, participate in education with your physical therapist, occupational therapist, and nurse. Bring on the day of discharge a bag for your belongings and a pillow for the car trip home. They'll assist you at home and attend your follow-up appointments. Your caregiver will keep a diary of your medications, recording the time taken and dosage. Help you prepare ice packs. Help you prepare meals for the first several days and remind you to do your breathing exercises. They'll also help you care for your pets if needed. You may need to stay in a skilled nursing facility for a few days before returning home if you have other medical issues. Ask your surgeon if you'll need a skilled nursing facility and check your insurance for coverage. You may need to assume some or all of the cost out of pocket. There are many to choose from. Call, research, or visit ahead of time to see which one is best for you. Our social worker will visit you in the hospital after your surgery. Please bring your list of skilled nursing facility choices to the hospital to discuss with your social worker. If you're on medications that thin your blood, you must let your surgeon know as far in advance as possible. Cervical fusion patients may not restart their anti-inflammatory medication for three months following surgery. Lumbar fusion patients may not restart their anti-inflammatory medication for six months after surgery. A complete list of anti-inflammatory medications can be found in the reference section of your spine binder. If you're having a fusion, you must stop using nicotine products eight weeks prior to surgery and for six months after surgery. Please ask for a referral to Evergreen Health Smoking Cessation Clinic if you need help to stop smoking. Notify all your doctors that you're having surgery. If you snore, 
Tell your primary care provider or surgeon so you can be screened for sleep apnea. If you have a CPAP machine, bring it with you to the hospital when you check in for surgery. Complete all dental work at least two weeks before your surgery. If you're diabetic, please make sure to schedule a post-surgery visit with your diabetic care provider since surgery can affect your blood sugar levels. Fill any prescriptions and make sure you have enough daily medications to last for a week or two after your surgery. If you've had nausea when using pain medication in the past, please alert your surgeon to prescribe anti-nausea medications. As your surgery approaches, you may want to start packing for your hospital stay. Bring clean, loose-fitting clothing, driver's license, photo ID, and insurance card, list of medications and supplements, glasses or contact lenses, shoes, rubber sole and adjustable, cell phone with labeled charger or a calling card, eye drops, nasal sprays, inhalers, advance directive if you have one, personal care items such as toiletries, CPAP machine labeled if you have one, your walker labeled if you have it, your caregiver's phone number, and a method of payment for discharge medications to be purchased either from the Evergreen Health Pharmacy or a pharmacy of your choosing on your way home. Our pre-anesthesia clinic will call you to complete your pre-operative interview. If you've not received a call from the clinic by 3 p.m. the day before your surgery, please call 425-899-2706. Clinic staff will verify your check-in time and ask you questions on behalf of the anesthesiologist who will be caring for you on the day of your surgery. Please have ready a current list of your medications in case you need to stop taking any before your surgery. Do not eat or drink anything after 11.59 p.m. on the night before your surgery. This includes mints and gum. If you're instructed to take medications the morning of your surgery, you may do so only with a small sip of water three hours before your arrival time. Follow all instructions the preoperative nurse gives you. On the day of your surgery, you'll go to the surgical waiting area for check-in on the third floor of the Blue Zone. You'll use the central entrance and parking. Maps are posted on our website at www.evergreenhealth.com forward slash evergreenhealth hyphen Kirkland. Risk is inherent in any surgery. Your surgeon may already have discussed some of these risks with you. Evergreen Health is dedicated to absolute safety and consistent quality care for all our patients. To help keep you safe, we'll provide antibiotics before and after surgery to reduce the risk of infection. Your surgeon's office will provide HIPAA soap, and instructions for its use. Please read the instructions carefully and wash with this soap the night before and the morning of surgery. If you did not receive a bottle of the HIPAA soap, you'll find it at your local pharmacy. Do not shave your surgical area for at least two days in advance of your surgery. Sleep in clean sheets the day before your surgery and put on clean clothes in the morning. Hand washing is one of our most effective tools for preventing infection. Make sure you wash your hands often and always before changing your dressings. Don't be afraid to ask others who care for you to wash and gel their hands before and after providing care. Keep your dressing clean and dry. You'll be given instructions on how to care for it. Most dressings can be removed 72 hours after surgery if the incision is dry and not draining. Do not submerge your incision in water bath, hot tub, or pool for at least six weeks after your surgery and until it is completely healed. Blood clots are another potential risk of surgery. You can help prevent blood clots too by getting up and walking with your physical therapist soon after surgery. Remember, you will need to have someone with you when you walk for the 24 to 48 hours after surgery. For your own safety, don't attempt to get out of bed by yourself until you are told that you're strong enough to do so. Deep breathing and coughing are important ways to prevent pneumonia. At the hospital, you'll receive an incentive spirometer to help you take deep breaths and expand your lungs after surgery. It's a good idea to practice deep breathing now before your surgery. Take deep breaths every time a commercial comes on TV or at least four times an hour. Have your caregiver remind you to do your deep breathing exercises for the first three to five days after surgery. It's likely reassuring to know that you have a role to play in reducing post-surgical risks. Take part in early walking with your physical therapist, use the incentive spirometer, take deep breaths and cough from time to time. Together with your care team, you're ensuring your safety and well-being. The length of your surgery varies depending on the type of procedure planned. 
For some fusion surgeries, patient positioning can take some time. Please remind your family that the anticipated length of your procedure does not include the time it takes for you to fall asleep and wake up. Your surgery time may seem longer than expected for those that are waiting for you. Family and friends can track your progress on our board in the waiting room or using the surgery tracker on our website at www.evergreenhealth.com forward slash surgery hyphen tracking. Following surgery, you'll be taken to our post-anesthesia care unit where you'll wait for anesthesia. Your surgeon will come out and update your family and friends on your progress. Then they can join you for transfer to your room. Our specially designed unit has open visitation with spacious rooms that can accommodate guests. We also have a private sleeping area if your caregiver would like to spend the night. Other amenities include free Wi-Fi and a nutrition center for caregivers. Our team of trained spine staff will partner with you to provide a safe recovery. Your length of stay depends on how well your recovery is going, the type of surgery you've had, and your progress with therapy. Your goals for recovery and discharge will be clearly visible on the whiteboard in your room. You'll arrive in your room with yellow socks on your feet. This is for your own safety and an indication to staff and caregivers that you're at risk for falling if you try to get up out of bed by yourself. It's extremely important that you do not try to get out of bed to use the bathroom or do anything without assistance. If you fall, you could hurt yourself. Please use your call light at the first sign you need to use the bathroom. The nurses and trained aides will assist you with skill and respect for your privacy. Some general expectations on the day of your surgery include taking fluids by mouth, getting up to use the bathroom with assistance, sitting up in your chair for all your meals, taking your pain medications by mouth, starting your physical therapy the same day as your surgery. Keeping your pain under control is important for your well-being and will help you eat better, sleep more soundly, and participate in physical therapy. Although we can't eliminate all the pain, we will help reduce it so that you can participate in your recovery. After surgery, your pain may increase with activity. You may experience different sensations and areas of discomfort. It is common to have a fever temporarily after surgery. You may still feel aching in the same area where you had pain prior to surgery. Nerve pain can be unpredictable, and numbness present prior to surgery will often take several months to resolve. You may experience migrating pain, new pain, or strange sensations. All are a part of the normal recovery process. For lumbar fusion patients, the most uncomfortable activity is often the transition from lying down in bed to standing. This activity will become easier as you heal. The nurses will evaluate your pain with a numeric pain intensity scale. It ranges from no pain at all to worst possible pain. You will tell your nurse where you are on the pain scale. It's very important not to wait until the pain is serious before alerting your nurse. The surgeon has provided medication instructions based on what you report your pain to be, so please let us know. Other things we can do to help with pain? After your surgery, it is okay to sleep on your back or side or in whatever position is comfortable for you. Some patients find placing a pillow under their knees can reduce the pressure on their back. Repositioning in your chair or bed is another way to reduce pain. Your nurses are able to provide other methods of pain management. In addition to opioid medications such as ice, heat, change of position, muscle relaxants, and breathing techniques which can be continued at home on discharge from the hospital. Again, we will try to do everything possible to help you relieve your pain, including ice, positioning, and medications such as opiates and Tylenol. Every patient's experience is different. However, recovering from spine surgery can be painful. Know that while it is uncomfortable, you will get better, and we'll rely on you to help us understand your pain so that we can help. Opiate pain medication can cause constipation. When you return home, it will be very important to take your stool softeners as prescribed and drink plenty of fluids until you're having regular bowel movements. You should also follow the bowel protocol described on the MyCare app. The goal of therapy is to be sure that you're safe to walk on your own and climb stairs prior to discharge to home. The therapist will determine if you're safe to go home or if you need further care at a skilled nursing facility or rehabilitation unit. 
the majority of patients are discharged to home safely. It's rare for patients to need home physical therapy. However, home health care services are available for patients who are homebound and who medically qualify. Further information about home health care can be found in the reference section of your spine binder. If you need a walker or other medical equipment after surgery, a prescription will be provided to you upon discharge from the hospital. If you need refills on any of your prescriptions after surgery, please plan ahead. Pain medication cannot be refilled in the evenings or on weekends. Our social worker will meet with you before your discharge to go over your care after you leave the hospital if home health care is medically necessary. Home Health will call you at your home to schedule your first appointment if you medically qualify. You'll stay in the hospital one to two days depending on how you're progressing and the type of surgery performed. Generally, you'll be discharged if you're taking all your food and medication by mouth, your pain is controlled with pain pills, you understand the safety risks specific to your surgery, you can get in and out of bed and use the bathroom with minimal assistance, you've actively participated in physical therapy and you know your exercises, You've demonstrated that you can climb stairs if you live with stairs outside and in your home. Your caregiver has a bag for your personal items and is present and ready to drive you home. It's important to follow all your discharge instructions to care for yourself after surgery once you return home. Please review your spine surgery book, which contains more detail about the topics we covered today. There's also a reference section and more details on your type of surgery, guidelines for slowly increasing your activity, illustrations of body mechanics, and daily exercises. Maps and accommodations are also included. Join the MyCare app for exercise videos, daily activity reminders, bowel movement protocol, and more to be used in conjunction with your spine book. Please be sure to follow up with all your post-operative surgical appointments and track your progress on your digital care plan if you have it. We look forward to helping you return to your healthiest best, becoming more active with less pain. Thank you for choosing Evergreen Health. We're honored to care for you. Oh,